Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jim, what Dugan thinks. We're gonna dye some scales today for a couple bench-made knives. We've got a blue set here we wanna to try to do a black fade on. And then we got this one here, but my grandson and I can't figure out if it's yellow or green. It'll look cool either way, I guess. We're gonna do that one. I didn't show you guys tearing down the knives and stuff. You've seen enough videos of that. I want to show you the dyeing process. What we've got here is a tin can and some boiling water we're going to have in another pot. And what that is, is going to get the temperature of the dye up to about 250 degrees. I put a little vinegar in there, Ritz dye and water. And once it gets the temperature, we'll come back and we'll dye the scales and let you see it. All right, so we're kind of back here. I was going to explain a couple things. This is a family size soup can, which I found to be the perfect size for these scales to put them in. I told you guys that the temperature should be around 250. In all honesty, the last ones I did, I think were less than 200 degrees. And they did just fine. I made a little hook here out of a coat hanger. And I hang my scales inward to inward like that because it really doesn't matter if they get done on the inside or not completely as far as i'm concerned y'all may feel differently about that so i've got a instant read thermometer here we're at about 185 186 188 keeps moving because just, I don't know why, doesn't matter. So anyway, we're gonna do these first. I'm gonna show my grandson how I'm doing these, and then I'm gonna let him do his own set. So what I like to do with them is go completely in first and come out. And I'm gonna come out in different degrees. I'm gonna slowly bring them up. And it doesn't take long and to be quite honest with you, I bought these scales from China, so I'm not even sure if they're going to take the dye or not. I know that the other ones will. I'm going to turn this off because it's really hot there. So, obviously it's not dark enough. I'm going to try to stay away from the top because I'm going to do a fade. I just want a little color up that way. Actually, I'm going to just dunk it all at one time keep moving this back and forth gonna come up a little bit more and who knows what effect we get you know it may not be exactly what you want it may change I just want to try to get a fade on it of some kind see where we're at you kind of see this darker at the bottom I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit one more time all the way through Seems to be taking. This will be pretty neat. I've done some other scales, shipwreck and that kind of thing I haven't shown you guys. I may do a video of just all the ones I've done. This doesn't seem to be adhering as good as the other ones will. May not be allowing for enough time. I don't think these are gonna take like the other ones. I'm going to turn the stove back on, get the temperature up a little bit more. That could be the problem too. I'm going to pull these, put them on this plate so they don't drip. And if you follow me over to the sink, that'd be great. We're going to go to the sink with it. Try not to make a mess where my wife's going to be on my ass here in a little bit. We're going to rinse them. I don't think these are going to work too well. But we got a little color on them. And actually, that looks pretty cool. It just didn't take much. It could be I need to just leave them in there. I'm not sure what this material is. We're going to say that's not exactly a success, but it's not horrible either. I think it kind of looks neat. When they dry, we'll give you a better look. But it gave a little color in there. We'll go right back to the next one. All right, my grandson's doing his now. This is the first time he's a little nervous. See what results he gets. I know these will take the dye much better. 
the camera's not steady, it's because I'm one shaky dude. Oh shit, there goes our clock. You want to fade, you dunk it about three quarters up and you just come right back out. However you want to do it. It's getting darker, you got to keep moving. How dark do you want it and how much of a fade do you want? That's what you want, that's fine. Yeah. All right, we're gonna rinse these and come back to you guys because I got shaky hands. There's my puppy. There's my other puppy. She's nine years old and he's about three. Okay guys, <clears throat> this is the effects we got. I think the blue ones turned out really, really good. These were kind of surprising. Now, I could have left these in there a lot longer and penetrated the plastic and got the dye to stick. But my grandson and I agree we really like the way this turned out. It's subtle but great. So these both turned out really good. So at any rate, these have turned out nicer than we thought. So he's going to reassemble his knife. I do want to show you this. We have one of these pivot tools. I can't remember who we got it from. I think it's... The guy that sells scales, and I, this may be where these scales came to him. Uh, I can't remember. I, I'll list it below. But we did a captive pivot on this Benchmade. That way we don't have to fool with the Omega spring and all the other crap inside. This is a brand new knife. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a knockoff. I'm not going to pretend that it's not. I believe in full exposure. This is going to be a work knife for him. He's come down here to work for the summer. So that's the reason I gave him that one. If it holds up, great. If not, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching the video. See you on the next one.